G'day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This is part one of my mythical owl picture that I created and I wanted to show you how I created the owl first. So as usual, let's get started. You can see that I've got my picture of the owl here and I've used my selection brush tool and if I turn this off, you can see I've already cut my owl out. The next thing I'm gonna do is just on my owl cut out, I'm gonna come back to my selection brush tool and make my brush a little bit bigger using my right and left bracket keys. And I'm just gonna select just this side of the owl's face here. Doesn't have to be a really perfect selection, just around the face here. Because this side of the face is brighter than this side, I want both sides to sort of match. So I'm just going to make a copy of that selection now with a command J and get rid of the marching ants with my command D. Now we've just got that side of the face here, just that one side. So I will come up here to arrange and flip horizontal. Grab my move tool and just move that over and just sort of have a look. Looks pretty good about there. So we've got now both sides of the face sort of lit nice and brightly so there's no shadow on this side. The next thing I'm going to do is create the wings of the mythical owl. And for that I used this picture here and you can see this section here I'm going to use as my wing and I've already cut that section out. You can see here I've got the section that I'm going to use for the wing. Click on that wing and just move it and turn it. Just sort of roughly get it into place where I want it. Sort of about there it looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is just use my mesh warp tool here. And I'm just going to now just manipulate that into place, sort of the same profile as the wing. So I'm just using my mesh warp tool just to get that into sort of place where I want it here. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit apply on that. I'm going to make a copy, command J, and I'm going to get, again come to my move tool and then come arrange and flip horizontal. We'll put that on this side here. Again, we'll grab our mesh warp tool for this side and we'll just warp that into a little bit of a better shape for this side of the wing. That looks pretty good, so let's hit apply. So we've got two wings now, so let's just grab our move tool. On this side, let's just rename that one left and the other one we'll just put an R at the end for right, so we know which one we're doing. So on the right wing first, going to add a mask, come over here to my brush, make sure I'm on, as usual, a nice soft brush. Got my colour black here and my flow at 25%. Make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. But before I do that on that wing, this right hand wing, what I'm going to do is change the blend mode to hard light. That's going to bring some of that color of the wing through and that looks pretty good there. So let's go back onto our mask. Now we can just blend that in a little bit better. And that looks okay at the moment. Let's go over to the other wing now. Let's do the same, the left one, and change the blend mode to hard light to get that color through again. We'll put a mask on that. And again, we'll just blend that in a little bit better here. Just getting rid of those harsh lines there. So that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is come down here to the original picture of my owl cutout and grab my erase brush tool. Everything's at 100% opacity and flow, except for the hardness. Let's make my brush a little bit smaller, and I'm just gonna get rid of some of this original wing here, and just up here. And maybe that tiny little bit along there. And I'm gonna do the same to this side as well. So just get rid of that extra, maybe we don't want. Okay, that looks pretty good. While I'm here with my erase brush, I might just tidy that little bit up there. Come over here to my other little wing and tidy that little bit up there. That looks pretty good. So we'll do our tail now. So I've got this picture of armor again, just of these gloves. And I took this section here just for the tail. So if I turn that off and then turn that section on, this is the cutout that I'm using for the tail. And again, we'll just Get it into place using our move tool, sort of roughly where it's going to be. Make it a bit smaller. 
And again, we'll use our mesh warp tool and we'll just mesh that into place. And that looks pretty good. So let's hit apply. Again, we're going to change the blend mode to hard light and add a mask to that. Grabbing our brush again, and then we're just going to blend that in as well. That looks pretty good. We'll make another copy of that. Command J, grab our move tool and we'll make that really nice and small. We'll come up to arrange, flip horizontal again, and now we'll get that little section in place. Again, using our mesh warp tool, we'll try to warp that into place a little bit better. And that looks okay. Let's hit apply. Already got a mask on it. So let's grab our brush nice and small and let's just blend that in a little bit there. Okay, so our bird is starting to look pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is add a helmet to the bird's face. And this is the helmet that I use. And as again, I've used my selection brush tool and just cut this section of the helmet out. And this is what we've got here. So I'll use my move tool again on that helmet cutout and we'll make it nice and small. And what we're going to do again is use our mesh warp tool. So let's just zoom in a little bit. Come over here to our mesh warp tool and we're just going to get that shape of the bird's face here. Just using our mesh warp tool. Just the nice round shape at the moment. So that looks pretty good sort of shape. So let's hit apply. This time we're going to click on our mesh warp tool again. But here we're going to just click above the eye level here and put a line here. And then we're going to move that up until we see the bird's eyes. And then just below the eyes here again, we'll just do another click. And then we'll just move that section so we can see the eyes there. And then this section here will just move up so we can see the bird's beak. And just we can then just manipulate some of these sides here just to get a better fit there. And that is not looking too bad. So let's hit apply. So we've got our bird's helmet in place here. A little bit crooked. So let's go back to our mesh warp tool and just maybe move that up a little bit. That's not too bad. Okay, so we've got that in place. Now I've got this rust picture here. Grab our move tool. I'm just going to clip that to the helmet. So I'm going to move that over here to the helmet. And we're going to change the blend mode on that to hard light as well. Going to add a recolor to that. Just a recolor here. Just clip that to the rust. And I'm just going to bring that down and the orange sort of down. Just a little bit, just to make it sort of try to match these colors here. Maybe a little bit brighter. Let's bring that down a little bit. And you can have a play with that. That's not looking too bad, but you can have a play with that. Sort of a matched, that sort of helmet to the rest of the color of the bird there. So while I'm here, I'm just going to add a pixel layer. Just clip that to the helmet as well. Grab my brush, my flow is going to be all the way down at 10%. In black, very small brush, and I'm just going to a bit of shadow just above each of these eyes here. Just give that a little bit more of a 3D shape. So there we go, everybody. That's how I've created my owl, my mythical owl for my composite tutorial. So let's move on to creating our background now and adding in our owl and finishing off our composite. Okay, everybody, we're ready to make our background where we're going to place our owl into now. So I'm going to start off with this background picture here. What I'm going to do is make a copy, Command J. What I want to do is get rid of this harsh light down here. So what I'm going to do with that copy is just turn it around and then move that all the way up the top. Drag that down and keep moving that so I don't see any of that light down here. So we're just going to move that down to the horizon there. It doesn't matter because we're not going to see it. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn on my moon picture here. So this moon picture, what I'm going to do with this one is set it to screen. 
And then if I click off that, you'll see we've got this harsh line down here. So on that moon picture, I'm gonna come up here to my blending options, my blend options, and on source layer ranges here, I'm just gonna move this slider all the way down to this corner. If we click off that now, you'll see we've got rid of that harsh line. The next thing we're gonna do is bring over our mountain that we're going to use. And I've used my selection brush tool and I've just cut the mountain out. So if I just click off that and click on our mountain, you can see I've cut the mountain out. And then I've used this picture of this castle here and I've just cut out the top of the castle. So I've got the top of the castle here and placed it above the mountain. So the first thing we're going to do with our castle here is add a mask. We're gonna click on the mask Come over to our brush tool. I've got a nice soft brush selected. We're going to make sure that we're painting in black and our flow is about 25%. Let's just zoom in a little bit and we're going to get rid of all these people along the mountain and, just, and we're just gonna blend this in a little bit better. So I'll make my brush a little bit bigger and just start painting on that mask in black. And we'll go all the way up here. And we'll just blend that in. Along this edge as well, we've got some more people, so we'll just get rid of those. Change to white using your X if you just want to use that to get rid of some of that that we've done. I'll just do it quite quickly. So there you go. We've got our sort of castle blended in to our mountain here. So the other thing we'll do now is we'll add some exposures. So let's come down to our mountain cutout here and add an exposure. Just clip that to the mountain and we'll make that really quite dark, about that sort of dark. We use the same one, Command J, and we'll clip that to our castle cutout up here as well. On our mountain cutout, on our exposure adjustment, we've got our brush. We're going to drop the flow all the way down to about 10%. Make our brush quite big. And while we're on black here, just where this moon and the, the light is, we're just going to add some light just down the side there, nice and subtle. And that's not too bad. Let's do the same with our castle, where we've got our castle exposure. Onto that exposure layer, let's zoom in a little bit, make our brush a little bit smaller and we'll just brush some of that light back into our castle here, a tiny little bit at the back here. Zoom out, that's not looking too bad. On our castle up here, I'm going to add a pixel layer. I'm going to clip that to my castle. And on that pixel layer, I'm going to come over here to my flood fill tool and flood that castle with black. Change the blend mode to color dodge here. And on that pixel layer, I'm going to pick sort of this lighter sort of gray color in the moon and click on that to activate it. Come to my brush, very small brush at about 25% on the flow. Let's zoom in again. I'm just gonna use that as some highlights. So let's just add some highlights just to the roof and the section here because it's where the moon's light is and it might just be catching some of these roofs here, especially down this section back here. Okay, that's not looking too bad. So we've got some of those sort of highlights on there and they will sort of be a little bit softer. We can just, on that highlight layer, we could just drop them to a little bit softer. There we go, it's not looking too bad. If we wanna get rid of some of them, we can come to our little erase brush and just erase just some so we can just see the tops. There we go, that's not looking too bad. Okay, so the next thing now is we're going to bring over our owl that we created. And you can see that I've just used my move tool to make the owl quite big and place it sort of on an angle, flying away from our tower up here. So again, I'm going to add an exposure to my owl here. Clip that to my owl, make it quite dark. Again, I'm going to use my brush 25%, let's get our colors back to default, hit D and X to get the black. 
make my brush quite big and I'm just going to add a little bit of brightness to that as well especially on the face here I'm going to do the same that I did to the towel with my owl here so I'm going to add another pixel layer clip that to my owl fill it with black make sure we're on black fill that owl with black and then color dodge as well I'm going to do the same back to that silver color that we had and back on my brush I'm going to zoom in on this one and I'm just going to add with a very small brush some of those highlights to my owl I'm going to drop my flow down to about 10% add a little one on top there Okay, I'm doing that quite quickly, but I'll just turn that on and off just so you can see. And we might just drop that opacity just to soften that up a little bit as well. You can see the highlights there. I've done it quite quickly, but you could take your time. I might grab my erase brush and just get rid of some of the bits that are overflowing there. As I said, you can take your time on it and try to get a really nice sort of highlight going all the way around the owl there so that's just done quite quickly but you can see the result there it can look quite good if you take your time okay so we've got that owl in place now what we're going to do is bring over our little amulet here so we've got this i've just placed that just down by the owl's feet here I'm going to zoom in make it a little bit smaller you see here, if I come over to here, this little arrow here, I can move it this way or that way. But if I just go outside, I can actually see the two arrows there. I can sort of move it sort of sideways like that, just to give it a little bit of an angle and then move it up into place. What I'm going to do is put a mask on that. Grabbing my brush, flow to 25% again. And let's get our colors back to default, hitting D. We want to be painting in black. Zoom in a little bit more and then we can just get rid of that chain so it looks like it's in the little owl's claws here. Again, I'll do it quite quickly. You can take your time. Remember, you can switch back to white to add some more in if you think you've taken too much away. Let's just zoom out on that. Pretty happy with that. Let's add a pixel layer to that clip it let's fill that with our nice sort of magical green color just fill that and let's change that to overlay so we've got that nice green color of the amulet there we'll add another pixel layer on top we'll change that to overlay as well still got our nice green color still got our brush with our soft brush let's change the flow to about 15 percent quite a big brush let's move that pixel layer underneath let's just put a bit of glow coming from that amulet there maybe that a little bit smaller and maybe we can add maybe at about five percent on our brush here on our flow maybe just some of that green just reflecting off on that wing there as well and a little bit under the eyes here okay that is looking pretty good the next thing i'm going to turn on is this layer here and i'm going to change it to screen sort of like my smoky magic to get rid of this sort of harsh line i'm going to use my blend options again and just bring that down until i can't see that really harsh line about there looks pretty good we'll add a color an adjustment to recolor that so recolor and clip it and then bring that into that sort of greeny color that i want about there we still got a bit of a harsh line there so let's come back to our blend options and see if we can just get rid of that and that's not too bad okay let's make sure we clicked on that magicy smoky layer and come over to our move tool first let's just move that I sort of want it coming out of this window here in our tower 
I'm going to use my mesh warp tool again and just warp this into place. I want it down around sort of the amulet here and a little bit thicker up there. So sort of about like that. Sort of happy with that. That looks pretty good. Let's hit apply. Let's just make one more copy while we're here and turn off the bottom one for now and just work on this top one. Let's add a mask. Clicking on our mask. Back to our brush. 25%. X on our keyboard to get back to black. I'm just going to get rid of some of the bits that I don't want now. Just painting on black on that mask. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's zoom in on the owl's face because we don't want it on the owl's face here. So let's take all that away. Come down to our amulet here. We'll take some away off our chain here. And our bird's feet. That's just so we can see those feet there and the chain. Now we change back to white, hitting X, we can put some of that back in so it's going around the chain, around the feet a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty good. Might just get rid of some of that up there. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's now make sure we're back on white again, see if we can put some of that back in. Make sure we're on our mask. Very small brush. A little bit back in there. Let's zoom out. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. So let's just go to our second one now and turn that on. What I'm going to do with this one is sort of manipulate it maybe around the wing a little bit. Up here. Back to our mesh warp tool and let's just sort of manipulate that a little bit around the wing. Maybe about like that is pretty good. Let's hit apply. Let's add a mask to that one as well. Back on black, nice soft brush again. Let's get rid of those bits that we don't want. That's not looking too bad. Okay, let's make another copy of that one. Command J. Bring that over to this wing. Maybe just place it about there. We've already got that nice sort of round going. So let's click that down onto the mask. Grab our brush. Nice and big. Let's get rid of any of that excess we don't want. There we go. That's not looking too bad. Let's get rid of it off the owl's face again. And I think that's this one here. There we go. Get it off the owl's face there. And that's not looking too bad with all that magic around the wings coming from the tower. So let's collapse all that. Let's come up here and come to Layer Merge Visible. Picking our tone mapping again. We're going to pick our detailed one. Clicking on Detailed, let's bring that tone compression all the way down. Let's bring our local contrast up a little bit. I want it really sort of that contrasty look. Exposure all the way down. And let's have a look. We can bring our saturation up a little bit, our vibrance up a little bit. About there, maybe on the curves, we can just make that a little bit darker and hit apply. So there you go, everybody. That is my picture for this week. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial on how I created the owl, how I created the background picture for the owl. I will have the owl in its complete format in a PNG file for you on the Buy Me A Coffee site, absolutely free. You can go over there and grab that. If you'd like to support my channel, you can also do that on the Buy Me A Coffee site while you are there, or you can hit that super thanks link below to support my channel as well. But until next time, I'm going to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.